here. What's up? Welcome to Brower Power. Don't be sour, stay an hour. And today we're cooking. It's been a while. Yeah, uh... Hey! Can you hey. guys shut the fuck up? No! No! This is why you all can get laid. I don't care. Well, damn. Today we're gonna be making a pizza. Mm. And I'm gonna be making a fresh sauce. So we're gonna start off with some nice San Marzano tomatoes. Yes, we are. Brown, give me a fork. Fork. Alright. Hmm. Alright, so, I guess hello to uh, Xander Brow audience. Alright. So basically, Brower, like one day when picking me up when we were gonna go film. Oh, this may be a bit. Oh, this is. <laughs> this is why you, you, this is why you need to be prepared, folks. <laughs> Alright. What are you? But necessarily, I brought one day, like, pitched me, Hey, Tio, do you want to do a cooking show? And I was like, fuck yeah, because I love cooking. And I love eating. He does. I want to be able to show Brower, like, good, um, techniques at least, or at least just to push him to cook more. And you know, I'm kind of just going by like how I was tying it. It's just like, you know, you make do with what you got. I'm not like absolutely measuring everything that is going into this. All right. But so far, you know, get yourself a can of San Marzano tomatoes. Get some tomato paste, you know, give that a little squeeze. I'm gonna be honest, he doesn't have sugar, so I took some sugar when I went to go on my coffee run this morning. When in doubt, want more sugar. Yeah. That should be about a. That should be about all we need for sugar anyway. Should be at least. Since this is a nice pizza sauce, that's what we're gonna do. All right. All right. Uh, what we got there? So next, we're gonna put in some garlic powder, onion powder, an Italian seasoning, and uh, some and some oregano into this. Oregano's for savages. Uh, sure. Needs oregano. I <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're referencing, man. I wanna be honest with you. Hey, look, I'm gonna be entirely honest. It's just like it's not necessarily, you know, the most professional way to go about something like this, but I'm not a professional. Never want a whole lot of oregano. Onion powder. Onion. Hey Brower, why don't you at least talk to the audience? What's your experience with cooking? You know? Well, my experience with cooking is obviously uh, warm up some burgers on the uh, stove and make some pasta in a boiling water uh, pot and um, some toast and cereal. And to finish it off, I got some nice uh, broccoli in a boiling pot of water. So that's my lesson of cooking. My mom taught me more, but I forgot when I went to college, so here we are. Yeah, you did. I don't like a lot of onion like powder, so not too much there in that apartment. Some black pepper. Gives it a good kick, you know? Not really. Maybe if you think black pepper spicy, I don't know what to tell you. We've had worse. Put it in your mouth! Grab your balls! And a little of Italian seasoning. Brower, I'm gonna give you the honors of blending. Blending time. Yep. So I just stir it up with a spoon? No, you're blending it. Uh oh. Brower! <laughs> That's what you mean. Yeah, I mean you're literally blending it. Okay. My experience with cooking personally is like I was taught by my grandmother parents a lot. And how exactly were you taught to you? Huh? Well... I'm the big bossy puppy. I know you think it's funny. So, what else? Well, and... All the people know they love me. I need some... Shaking it. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's get it a check. Good. 
Okay, uh, that's pretty. That is pretty well blended, let's say. Nice. Uh, here's the important part. We did it. Okay. 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 It's on the more bitter end of things. Well, I like bitter. Not a lot of people do. Oh, a blender man! Yes. Chef Tia. Very quick. Yes. Three, two, one. Yeah. I'm the big bossy puppy. I'm the big bossy puppy. Like I said, it was very fast. <laughs> Uh, oh, God, we, I, I sound so stupid. I've, yeah. I don't know what to say. You know, I've, I've always wanted to do a cooking show, and now that it's in time for me to do it, I'm like, oh, God, what do, I, what do I say? You know? Here's what you say. Please subscribe to Xander Brown, hit that like button, and ring that bell okay. for notifications. Even my phone didn't work that. I'm a home cook, all right? If I was cooking in a restaurant, I know people would get up my fucking ass, but I'm not in, I'm not in a restaurant right now. Very small. Fuck it. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay, so that's our sauce. That's our sauce. But we're not just making any old pizza, no. We making some garlic bread. Garlic bread. Pass me that little container power. Yes. Alright. Cool. Oh no, this is actually is this multiple? No, oh no, no, it's just a really, really funky... No, there's two of them here. What? what? Thank you, uh, Five Below. No, we didn't get them from Five Below. We got them from Dollar Tree. Okay. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Alright. Make sure everything is good. You want to clean as you go. Yep, yeah, this is a very liquidy sauce, but I think this will be fine. Alright, so the first thing we were going to do regarding garlic of, uh, bread isn't really necessarily happening as of yet. But, because first, my friend. Well, yes. I'm also gonna clear up, I'm gonna clear up the space for myself. This is probably not the most ideal thing, so we're gonna make a compound butter. It's like very, very, very simple. <laughs> All right, I've been letting the out the butter. You wanna preheat your oven to 425. 425, blaze it. Yeah, just close it up. So basically your compound butter is... I try to make this butter soften as much as possible. And I'm probably overdoing it on butter, but you know, put it in a container anyway. How, uh, how do I suck at opening butter? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you can be good at anything in life, but you suck at opening butter. My purpose is to do butter. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not the most professional, as I've been saying. So, what? my knife skills need to improve. And... All right. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we want to start peeling the garlic. Yeah. You know that was not the intent, but I still managed to get one clove of garlic out. <sighs> Don't do what I did. Or do, at your own expense. And I realize, bro, I probably hit that preheat button too early. <laughs> this is why you wait for the butter to get room temperature because, oh my god. <laughs> this is a struggle. You wanna get a little bit of chopped parsley in there as well. Right here, we have our garlic butter. Mm -hmm. That's the best that I can do for it. We're going to gonna cover that up. I'm gonna set that aside for now. So next, oh boy. What is next, Professor? I mean, chef. You don't have to call me that. I ain't, I ain't the most professional in the world. Oh, so next we're going to mess around with our pizza dough. Woo! Alright, you wanna start by putting a little bit of flour on on your set. 
and it never hurts to also, you know, put a little bit on your rolling pin as well. No, we're making pizza. No. Not getting pizza. <laughs> exactly. No, you know, I want this is a pre this is a pre-made dough right from Publix. I know how to make the pizza dough, but we did not have the time for that today. Sometimes I forget how much of a bitch it is to take out, and that's a big reason why you want to, you know, put down everything. All right, we want. I've never seen it get a gas bubble like that, and that's a little concerning. You know, you want to get it nice, spread out. So I, you know, I have experience with making pizza a lot. My grandfather taught me when I was younger how to make pizza, you know. You want to get the dough nice and stretchy to go along your workplace and yeah, you know, here. Ah, uh, classic. Yeah. I feel like you got it on YouTube, you know. You gotta go for the good old, good old spin mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Publix, for the cutter, for, for the roller. Yeah, honestly. This dough, though, is like not wanting to cooperate very well, but whatever. <laughs> there we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere with this dough. Woo! Alright, so hey, so you taking those for our? All right, so what you want to do is you want to get like the undersides of your knuckles. I'm running it down, I'm running it down. Oh my god, and like, do like a like push-pull method with it. This is a very bubbly dough, oh my god. What is going on here? Bubbly ass dough. This is a very bubbly ass dough. So, Brower, how's your day? You know? It's been going pretty good. Other than just waiting for my paycheck to come in, it's going good. Uh, it's got some sleep, made our first skit of the year. Pass me the pizza pan. That is yours. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, I'm actually here to sleep. How's your day? Uh, pretty good, you know? We got our first skit of the year. First skit since 2019. Yep. Last six seven hours back. Oh lord, this pizza pan. Oh whatever. It's just flavor. This pizza pan was just cleaned anyway. What would happen if you just ate some of that? Uh, the flour? Yeah. That's raw flour. You shouldn't do that. It's going to taste like <laughs> really, really, <laughs> like really eat, bad. Is it like when you eat cookie dough? No, it isn't. Never mind. <laughs> it looks tasty. Kids, so that so that's the oven being done. You are protecting your shirt at Walmart, but not when you're cooking. <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> that's on me. <laughs> yeah, I realize I might be an idiot, <laughs> guys who apparently does not know how to open up this olive oil. All right, so... I want too much olive oil. And nice, decently spread on the dough. I don't know what I knocked over now. At this point, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Spoken like a true chef. Yeah. This is where we're gonna finally. All right, so get it nice and oiled up, and we're going to. Oh, I have too much oil. This is. What the fuck is going on? Uh, Bro, I'm holding it with my shirt, and that's not doing anything. You know what? Got it. Oh. I was gonna say, use my key. <laughs> All right. The sauce. You never. You never want to put. Too much sauce. This is a very watery sauce. Not too much sauce. 
This is not gonna be, I will be honest, this is probably not even gonna be the best pizza I've ever made. But, but it's still a pizza that Arius would eat. Yeah, like at the end of the day. Well, that matters. Just, you know, it's still pizza. You're still gonna eat it. Yep, yep. Never, never want too much sauce. The lighting is so much better in this apartment than the old one. Right? Here's the old one. Hey, we're making super moist chocolate cake. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's get this thing hugged. You know, what's better than cheese? More cheese. Exactly. Nice, good layers. I like... This is just me. I like, I like a good cheesy pizza. That's me. I don't know about you, you know, you do what you want, it's your pizza, have it your way. You put pineapple on that, I'm not gonna care. I'm probably not gonna eat it, but you know what, you do you. That's what I say. A little bit more center. So, optionally, I'm gonna do so that's a nice mozzarella right on there. Next up, this is a nice little personal touch for me. This is what I like to do. Get some nice Parmigiano Reggiano. Never too much of that. Get it nice and sprinkled in. Mm-hmm. Robert, would you like the honors of spreading out the, the pepperonis? Yes, I would, sir. Alright. Somewhere for these garlics. Probably got to put them in the fridge. Pepperoni. Anywhere, anywhere they go. Anywhere. Uh, okay. Here, I'll help you. That's like too much, but that's okay, we'll make do. We'll make do, we'll make do. <laughs> I do good, yes. Yeah, you did, you did, you did. Some mistakes are definitely made all along the way, but at least I'm not offending my entire culture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna get this out, just so I can set a timer. We're gonna pop this baby into the oven for 25. I'm gonna check this again in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So. Oof, whoa, that's hot. <laughs> no shit, it's a fucking oven. Then a honest hell. Got a nice big ol' Italian loaf. Delicious. Gonna get a bread knife and we are going to cut this in half long ways. Remember, if you can cook, you can kind of go on a date. Oh yeah, people like a person who can cook. I mean, hey, why spend the money at a restaurant, you know, the food might not be to your liking when you can just... No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I was a kid, I would just... In that brand, right? Like I said, this was going to be the super, super simple part. Literally, this is just as easy as take your fucking take the butter that we made earlier and uh, start applying it right on. Nice, nice. I don't want too much. This is a huge ass loaf, though. Shit. Shady, can I help you? <laughs> you can help yourself. <laughs> He's insulting me behind my back, I know he is. I know, he, I know he's thinking to himself, God, this is cringe. No, I am just jealous that he can't make it. I am cringe, but I am free. <laughs> That's what I say. Well, this isn't the word I'd use. I am cringe. I know it isn't. But I am free. At least I didn't make Jerry the Snowman. That's what I tell myself at night. And then I cry because Jerry the Snowman is actually successful, and I'm not. Exactly. So, Brower, actually, speaking of that, how long have you been on YouTube now at this point? I have been on YouTube since 2010. Technically 2009, but I didn't release any videos till 2010. So... You've been in the game for like a while, man. 15 years, I think. Right? Somewhere around that time, yeah. Maybe. So I've been here when Fred was popular, before Smosh went to Defy, and when Ninja Hinga made How to Meet Ninja. I, the yeah. first one. Yeah, God. So 
So I've been here for quite some time, and I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers. Please subscribe to Xander Brown. My reaction videos are getting 4K views, my short films are getting around 1,000 views, and my skits are probably getting around 50 views, so keep that like button, hit the bell, and subscribe. Go to our Patreon page at xanderbrow.com and get some merch. Yeah, please do. Subscribe to Xanderbrow. Honestly, if you're on this channel not subscribed, like, what are you doing, honestly? What are you doing with your life? I don't post on Sadistic Joker Productions anymore, but you always see me on Twitch. Mm -hmm. But necessarily, I plan my shit out, I make sure... You know, I haven't been streaming it all this year yet, you know, I helped Lo my bestie Luna with a stream recently. You know, uh, we, we got stuff planned. We just wanted to spend our la our usual day to get some voice acting practice. Cause, hello, I'm a voice actor, please, help. I don't have a demo reel, but I'm making one. Send help now. Send help, like, hire me. <laughs> I got college to pay. Or if you'd like, you can take the camera to show the, how the pizza's looking. How's the pizza doing? Oh shit, it's got a nice good rise, you know, it's melting pretty good. Yeah. Yes. Why do I suck at spreading butter, man? Spread <laughs> that butter. I say it all the time in the skits and I suck at it. You gotta use the butter well, not even the skits, like, when we were doing, like, we used to, like, never choreograph our, our fights during the BVL days. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it's like meeting me for the first time from Xanderbrow, and it's the whole freaking, you know, kicked in the balls thing. If you fuck up, you get hit in the balls. One thing, and keep this in mind, that when you fuck up, you're gonna get hit in the balls! <laughs> so, Ryder, do you have any foil? I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, maybe. Let's see if I have foil. <laughs> you don't need your phone to be looking. What is this? Postcard bag. Okay, um... Okay. Improv. Yeah, ideally you want to lay down some parchment paper. And stuff, uh... Yeah, um... We're... Improvising. Really improvising this, uh... Oh, whoa, that is... How's it actually, looking in there? It's looking pretty good, actually. It's getting a good rise. Uh, this is this is honestly going to be the boring portion. Also, I want to use hot water when washing dishes. Okay, time to take a look. Pizza time. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe not exactly. Okay. All right, got some nice browning, but it's not burnt. So what matters now is Woo! how it looks at the bottom. You know, the edges are nice. Let's put this in a couple minutes more. Alright. Then we'll we'll recheck on it. That's a very important thing. You want to make sure you have plenty of rounding around, but it's, it's getting there. Good. Ever had homemade garlic bread? Probably. It's been a while. Yeah, I would imagine. Oh, you know, your mother and all of that. She's judging me so hard right now. Crazy kids. And Pizza! Pizza! Bauer! And so while the pizza, and while the pizza's gonna be right over here, mm. we're gonna toss in our garlic bread for a few minutes. Awesome. Oh, that mm, smells delicious. Okay. You're the one who's gonna take it out. Yeah. Tell me you know how to use this. I can try. Do you, do you not know? Maybe. <laughs> this is okay. So I'm gonna be honest. This thing is from Dollar Tree. I'm not expecting a fucking professional grade. Shall I summon the people to taste? Actually, oh, no, 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 no. I want to let you know right now, 
My cake was fucking awesome. I don't care what y'all said. You want a slice? It tastes... No, no, no. It's it a mess. It tastes better than it looks. Yeah. But it looks really bad. I mean, I, I said it I said it in the video he said earlier to the chat. I'm just like, your are like, like, It's like, the method was wild. Weird. Strange. I'd eat it anyway. Oh, get a plate. Get a plate. I'm serious. Get a plate. Oh, God. Okay, you might hand me one. Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, how did we do? You can tell them that. Actually, I'm gonna say something you didn't expect this for me to say. It's straight, it's straight up ass. No, I'm kidding. It's actually it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I actually do like it. I like how kind of like, almost like creamy it is. Yeah. Are you enjoying? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's delicious. Thank you. You did a really good job. And time for me to give this a try. Same. I ain't fucking with this garlic bread for a while yet, but garlic bread's out. We'll deal with it later. Let's see how these are pieces. Yeah. Now we're mostly watched, actually. He helped a few times. Indeed. So what do you think? First time you had a pizza made by me. I rate this pizza five out of five Mandalorian helmets. You know, that's Kino. I'd give this a six out of six hundred. Mm. You see, I kind of put my SpongeBob references. <laughs> mm. what? You needed 600 to pass. No, seriously, like, yeah. I would give this like a solid like 7 out of 10. Yeah, I will take a 7 out of 10. So, Brad, this things. or Little Caesars? This is really good. I, I do fuck with it. I think the thing that I like the most is that like, the, the portion of the actual pie itself is actually like really juicy. I'm gonna have a Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to taste like garlic bread. Oh yeah, what was your grade? I'll give it Honestly, truthfully, I'll give this like an 8 out of 10. What? No. No. I'll give this like an 8 out of 10. This is like... Chef. Honestly, probably like, the best pizza I've had in like, a very long time. Chef Tio. For the win. <laughs> I'll give it an 8.5. Oh, right, we're going higher. Mm -hmm. You know what would make this a 10 out of 10? Honestly, if this was stuffed crust. Mm. Oh, so I'm not gonna lie, I know how to make that. And, oh. that, and honestly, the dough is more meant for it. We're doing this for the cooking, hold on. We're doing this for the cooking show of three. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be the hard part. <laughs> Cutting this freaking garlic. Comment cooking. below, make them do stuffed crust cr um, for the third one, please. <laughs> I like stuffed crust. Comment below, what we should sprout. Mm -hmm. mm. I got an mmm out of shady. Oh yeah. my god. Not bad. Not bad. And not hard to impress. <laughs> mm. Yeah, let me see all the mm. more. I'll say guys, just fucking rip at the bread. Mm. Now, I do like how it's the crust is nice and hard and then it's like nice soft. Gooey, garlicky. Oh, I can respect it. I'm just a person not a crust mm -hmm. So, thank you for joining us here on Brower Power. Thank you. What? <laughs> Don't be sour. Stay See you hour. Subscribe. I try. Alright, here's Moon.